spoke at the YouTube thing. I'm using his design for a motor controller. Um, is what this is is a 25 to 290 picofarad capacitor. It's got a uh, Chinese motor in it that's at 0 0.6 RPM. But in the circuit with the relay they have in there, I have a dropping resistor which drops it down from 0.6 RPMs to 0.2. And you think that that's slow? It's not slow enough. They're very, the Q on these is very sharp. But I, and also there is a little circuit on the left hand side consists of two diodes and a capacitor. It's a field strength meter. And a good demo of this uh, is on uh, YouTube as well. A guy's got an 817. He tunes it up, and the meter, uh, the uh, SWR meter on the 817 says he's one to one. And he checks his power. He goes and retunes it with the field strength meter, and he got a lot and a quarter more out. That's why it's critical with QRP you know, everybody wants to have a big fancy radio. Your antenna is number one. It's got to be number one. And I operate QRP three to five times a week uh, out here in Arizona. I'm a snowbird. And in the summer, I'm out at least once a week. And I build all my own antennas. I experiment until they're right. If I don't get it right, either I throw them away or start something else. You know, I get it right or give it up. This covers 10 through 40. 10 through 40, I got the 10 footer. We had it up here last year. They actually looked at it when they went around. Um, I was able to get it down to 1.5 across the band on 80 meters. I put it in the fan. 